Hi, this is Rory. We're talking about how does a man fall in love? And why does he fall in love? Why is he choosing you? How does he get from attraction to really being in love with you? And we've already talked about the instinctual things like the pheromones and smell. We've talked a little about sex and we've started in on the how you can start to open up. And the basic is he wants to feel good. He wants to feel good about himself. Now, let's move to the big heavy stuff, which is, let's say he's clueless. If he's toxic, that's going to show up that you're going to feel bad all the time. So this is kind of encompassed in this idea of how you can feel like you and be aware of how you're feeling and express how you're feeling and be open without making him feel bad about himself. And this has nothing to do with being demure, sweet, or girlish. This is totally to do with the feminine energy of expressing you and how you feel and leaving him out of it. It's essentially what you want to have and what you want to feel. And then sort of asking him if that is what he's looking for, if this is commitment. I really want to feel married. I really want to feel in one connection with somebody forever? Is this something you're interested in? That is so much better than you holding back and worrying about the fact that he's not committing to you and mentioning it a few times. Gee, you know, marriage is really cool or really just keeping your mouth shut or getting upset when he doesn't call you because it's all connected to that feeling of what you want but it comes out as kind of disappointment, right? It comes out in little tiny up here ways that are not helpful to you because they don't express your real wants and needs. And it literally confuses him and pushes him away because he doesn't understand why you're upset with him. He can hear it, but it just feels like a challenge and it feels like pressure and it just feels like a, you're asking him to do something. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know how he's feeling and he's just going to back off. It's just an approach that is all com combined with how we women have been taught to be in our masculine energy, how we've been taught to get what we want, instead of just speaking of what we want and then waiting for allowing somebody else, somebody to fill that space to give you what, I, what we want, which is what happens when we express what we want. The right men come forward and they give us what we want. So when we express ourselves, from what we want and just kind of open it. Is this what you want? Is this what you want to give to me? Or just go and see what they do. They may not know what to do, so then we have to give them directions. But we start with directions first. They really have no idea what to do. Does that make any sense? It's like, um, you know, why did you do that then? Why did you not call me for six days? Why aren't we seeing each other more? He's going to go, well, I'm busy. And then he just completely feels pushed. He feels challenged. He's going to shut down. Now, yes, it says a lot about his skills with women and his skills in talking. But we can get to that part later. Because theoretically, at this point, I want you to be dating five to ten guys at the same time. So you're not like, you know, losing steam. But... If you are coming to me here and you're in an exclusive relationship and have been for a while, I realize how trapping that can feel. I've done it many, many, many times, and I did it with my husband until I got smart. So if you don't know my story about that, I'll tell it in another video, or I'll start here. Um, really, I was trapped with him for five months, thinking that we were going somewhere, and then he sort of changed his mind. He wasn't sure anymore. New Year's Eve didn't bring the proposal that was supposed to happen then. And something in my brain snapped, and I just went, oh, and I said, that's okay. I said, I really get that. You know, you're entitled to do, you know, take care of yourself however you want. And, um, you know, I'm just, I can't be claimed in that way. So I'm just going to you know, do my own thing. Essentially, this became the big mantra for the whole Rory Ray system. 
if you know about that. And if you don't, just go learn about it. Read so many things on the website and so watch so many videos and it'll start to get clear to you that circular dating is my concept and how important it is to your sanity and to your ability to get what you want from your feminine energy, not from uh, staying with one guy and hoping it works out because that will not be your answer. If it's meant to work out, it's going to work out whether you're dating him exclusively or not dating him exclusively. Try that one on. That's kind of new, right? So circular dating is really crucial here. We've already dealt with sex and all of that stuff. This comes after. You have to, at this point, you're going to start to feel pressured within yourself to be all exclusively combined. Don't do it. So you want to ask what you want, which is, I want to have this. I want to feel this. And sexually, touch me there. Ooh, that feels good. You're going to have to learn how to practice all of this want expression rather than what he's doing wrong, because that's what we've learned to do. Could you change this? Could you do that? I need you to do this. That was really upsetting when you did that, blah, blah, blah. It is so confusing to him and so unclear that he starts to feel like he's always doing something wrong and he cannot make you happy. And this is the scourge of 99% of the relationships that I'm sent in to fix. And I can fix these for you. And you can fix these for you if you could just move from this outward, he's not doing the job, to inward, this is what I want. And I'm not going to rely on you exclusively to give me what I want. So this is the opening up part. This is the expression part. This is first discovering and finding out and writing down what you want want. So I have a whole master class on this that actually gives you the six steps to do and you can learn this. But we also have a want course. And the course is really important because you work with coaches, my coaches, brilliant coaches, privately, one to one, half hour for six sessions. Plus there's a zillion master classes digitally that we've all done for this want process and it's the feminine one and it's going to make all the difference for you because you're going to start to discover that you want love, you want to feel touched, you want to feel sexy. All of those things are so powerful and what he does at any given moment becomes irrelevant and unimportant. So once you stop talking to him about this part that's just what he's doing and start sharing what it is that you want he completely relaxes. He completely goes, oh, I can do this. And he can. He'll actually ask you what you want him to do. And he's not going into feminine energy. He's going into his masculine energy. It's very uh, odd to us because we're not used to this. We're used to men being defensive and backing off. No, he is going to all of a sudden be interested in what he can do for you because it makes him feel good to do what you want. So the process of discovering what you want and speaking it is your next big step if you haven't already done it. This brings the safety into full bloom. He feels totally safe, but it also gives him a way to succeed with you. Then all you get to say is, oh, wow, that felt good. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, I really want... Um, a vegetarian meal right now, something really light, or I really want a hamburger right now. I can feel that I have this feeling for raw meat or something. Oh my gosh. Or I have a feeling like I want to eat vegetables in a smoothie. You know, I really like that place over there, but whatever. And he'll just go, I know what to do. She wants this. Yeah, let's go there. He's not being feminine, asking you for help, leading him. Don't mistake it for that. You are giving him the opportunity to serve you. And this is how he falls in love. So we'll talk more about what happens after. But this is what basically takes you through the rest of your lives together. This process. So I would say the next videos about how he falls in love would be how to rekindle love 
if he was in love and then it's kind of disappeared, which means that something broke down. So we can talk about that later. But for now, you've got four really good solid steps here in these videos, and I'd love to hear from you. To get more relationship advice, check out this video next.